Okay, so we'll start with an AP humerus. For this, you want to make sure that the top of the cassette is going to be above your patient's shoulder. We're going to do her left humerus. True AP is going to be in external rotation. So the key thing you're going to want to palpate here are the epicondyles of the humerus and make sure that they are parallel to the IR. Here at 40 SID, so my thumb side is 14 by 17. I'm going to have Libby take a little step to the right and just get your crosshairs like right in the center. Make sure you're getting the epicondyles. You should have light above the top of the shoulder. You can collimate side to side for this. You can also turn your tube head for this. Okay, so you can keep it running with a long axis of the IR. Again, palpate, make sure you're getting the entire humeral head. I've got light there, lights below my condyles. This is Libby's left. So I would put a left marker there, give her GP, measure exactly through your central ray, and um, ask your patient to hold still and click. What I do want you guys to be mindful of is if you're going to turn the tube head, you have to have your bucky and your tube lined up before you turn your tube head. Okay, so if you look at that, I'm lined up, and then I'm turning my tube head just to make sure that you don't end up with any cut off. Okay, so from here, we're going to do a lateral humerus. You can do the lateral humerus one of two ways. You can do it AP or PA. PA is going to give you a little bit less OID. What we want to do, I'll show you both ways. If we do AP, I'll have Libby put her hand on her hip. What we're trying to do here is get the epicondyles perpendicular to the IR. That's going to give us our true lateral. We can then oblique her body a little bit to reduce OID at the head of the humerus. Again, you want to make sure you have light above. You can turn your tube head light above the head of the humerus. I've got my epicondyles on. You would measure through your central ray for this. If you wanted to do this as alternative in the PA, so we'll just switch and do with these right. That'll make it easy. Again, have her put her hand on her hip. Over like the body. The humeral head will actually touch when you do this PA. And then I can just you put it on your actual hip so I can slide your so I want less of an angle. Yes, like I want to be able to. There you go. And I'll have her take a little bit of step to her left to get her in the crosshairs. Again, palpate and make sure you've got light above the shoulder. Make sure that the epicondyles are perpendicular to the IR and that you have light below your marker. You measure through your central ray, GP, ask your patient to hold still and click. So that is your AP and your lateral. Your lateral, you can choose to do it as AP or PA. Both you have to oblige your patient in order to reduce that OID.